Hey everyone, welcome back to How to Train Your Gavin. I am doing my May TBR today and I am dreading it. If you saw April's TBR video, you will know just how chaotic that round was. And honestly, I was not having a good time. And to be honest, already this TBR is not looking amazing. I've switched the cocktails for a coffee and hoping, I'm hoping that will help. I'm hoping it won't give me that chaotic energy I had in April's TBR video, so fingers crossed, we need all the luck that we can get. If you're currently watching the premiere of this video, then please leave this video a like if you are enjoying, and subscribe if you haven't already. So a brief introduction to this game then, this is my TBR game that was inspired by Cody from Cody's Book Corner and Becca from Becca in the Books with their TBR games that they play every single month. This is my version of a TBR game, which is a version of Play Your Cards Right, which is a British game show, and honestly, it's the worst decision I ever made. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm totally joking of course, this is the most fun I ever have in a month. And also the most regrets. <laughs> so the rules of the game are that I pick between two books, one that I'd love to read and one that I wouldn't love to read, and I place five cards between them, and then as I turn cards over I have to guess higher or lower than the previous card. In my game an ace is the lowest, but after some backlash, <laughs> after some backlash I am also going to make ace the highest and the lowest card on the game because it's been a bit split. Some people say it's the lowest, some people say it's the highest, so why not, you know, give myself a bit of breathing room and make it both the highest and the lowest which is the exact same thing that I've done with my jokers so that still means that a king is technically one of the highest cards but an ace and a joker are both the highest and the lowest. That will help me out dramatically so I do tally up how many wins and losses I get overall in a TBR game and if I get to 20 wins then I get a reward but if I get to 20 losses I have to play the punishment pyramid. Fortunately I managed to hit the 20 wins in the last TBR game which means I can wipe the slate clean, start fresh and give myself some rewards. So I feel like making an ace the highest and the lowest as well as the joker being the highest and the lowest cards that is also a great reward for me. My patrons also helped pick a reward as well so Colleen thank you so so much for this suggestion but if I pick out a full series from my TBR bag of dread then all I have to do is read the first book on that slip of paper rather than the entire series because if you watch the April TBR video you will know that I ended up having to read all 10 books in the Demon Art series by Darren Chan. Fortunately I still did do that in one reading vlog over one weekend so I'm really proud of myself for doing that but this month I don't have to read a full series if I pull it out of the bag so that is freaking great but that reward only lasts for this month whereas the ace being the highest and the lowest will last forever. I still only get one swap per round as well as one life during the entire game. Also with my TBR game now with the books that I lose to I'm starting to do reading vlogs for them however I did want for the books I lost in April and it was such a learning experience. I hated having to read all of those books that I lost back to back and honestly like the vlog is just so depressing so I will still link it because I you know what I put effort into it okay. But for the future the vlogs that I do for the books I lose to play your TBR right those vlogs I will do over the course of a month. I won't read the books back to back I will just vlog each reading experience for the books that I lose to so that also shows you whether I actually do end up loving the books that I lost to or if my initial instinct is that I would hate it. Saying that though a lot of the books in my TBR bag are books that I'd love to read they're just way too big and intimidating for me to pick up right now or books I just wouldn't gravitate towards. So I think that's everything I need to say on that front. Readathons, there are four readathons in May that I am interested in. So the first one is the Asian Readathon by with Cindy and that is all month long. I participated last year and it was such a great experience. I have a reading vlog for it from last year as well where I tried to read as many middle grades as I could in one week for Asian Readathon all written by Asian authors. I am back to work so I don't know if I can actually do a dedicated reading vlog. However I do have some picks for this video that I will be showing you later on. Another month-long readathon is Booknetathon by Bookish KJ. There is a bingo board for that readathon as well and each of the squares has a different booktuber on and you have to pick books that reminds you of those booktubers to fill in the squares and I am one of the booktubers on that bingo board so I'm really happy about that. There is also Breath of the Wildathon which is happening from the 17th of May to the 23rd of May and that is hosted by Kaz from Little Book Elf and Little Red Reader. As you can tell I'm a big Legend of Zelda fan and yeah I'm gonna try and participate in that. It is a week-long thing so hopefully the books I pick in this TBR game or lose to in this TBR game will fit the promise for that challenge because I also have another week-long readathon that I'm so excited about and that is Do The Thingathon which has been hosted by Ashley from The Product of Fiction and that one has been hosted from the 24th to the 30th of May and that one is to essentially just go back to the goals that you set yourself at the start of the year and try and tackle those goals in that 
one week. So my goal is to try and read more thrillers. So I want to see if I can fit in as many thrillers as I can in that one week. I'm nearly at the game. I'm nearly at the game. <laughs> There's only one book club that I'm really participating in in May that I know of. I've probably forgotten something. But the main, main one that I'm definitely doing is Tristan Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky by Kwame and Balia. And this one is for middle grade monthly. This one follows Tristan and he has lost his best friend Eddie in a car accident. And Eddie has left in this journal which has loads of stories inside it. But one night this strange creature comes and steals the journal. So Tristan goes and runs after him and he ends up punching a hole in a tree which opens up to Mid Pass. Which is this incredible mythological fantasy world. And I'm so excited to read it. This one's going to be a fantastic middle grade monthly pick. We are reading this throughout the month of May and the live show for this will be on the last Saturday of May on my channel. So I'm really looking forward to discussing this one. And because I'm not putting the copy down this is a little bit awkward. But I will also be reading the Twig Saga of the Edge Chronicles. Finally, I missed doing them in April. There was just too much on my TBR. But finally, I am going back to my Edge Chronicles read-along and picking up the Twig Saga, which consists of Beyond the Deep Woods, Storm Chaser, and Midnight Over Sanctifrax. And I'm doing reading vlogs for each of the sagas in the Edge Chronicles, which I started in March. So you can watch my Quint Saga reading vlog. It is spoiler-filled, though. But I'm also going to be buddy-reading these with Blake from Blake the Book Eater. So I'm really excited about adding a bit of social interaction in reading these books. So this book is set on the edge where there's lots of different people's stories going on. In this one we follow Twig who lives with trolls. However, he doesn't fit in there because he isn't a troll. So he ends up going through the deep woods to find out who he really is. At least that's what I remember from the first book, Beyond the Deep Woods. It definitely stems from that. Beyond the Deep Woods is one of my childhood favourites. Haven't reread it in 20 years. So I'm really excited to see if my opinions on it changes, if it's still a favourite of mine or not. So the last thing before I play my game. So the books that I played with my patrons. Ace of Spades by Farida Ebike Iyamidi and this one is perfect because the back it is how can you play the game when the cards are stacked against you? I mean how can I play a Playo TBR right when literally the cards are stacked against me? This is the perfect book for Playo TBR right. It was this one versus Melmoth the Wanderer by Charles Maturin and this is the one I really wanted to read. This is the one I didn't really want to read. However this is like a huge chunky gothic classic and it scares me but it is one that I've been meaning to read for the longest time and we lost. So I'm reading Melmoth the Wanderer and I'm gutted because I really really wanted to read this like so badly. So because I can read this in May but only once I finish this first it makes me want to read this even more. So I can get through this so I can get to this. Like <laughs> that's all I want to do. So yes we lost the first round. That's one loss towards the new wins and losses tally. So this one follows Melmoth who sold his soul in exchange for immortality in a satanic bargain and now preys on the helpless in their darkest moments offering to ease their suffering if they will take his place and release him from his centuries of tortured wanderings. I don't know why it's so big though. Can they not tell that story in 200 pages? Then it was Fireborn by Aelin Fowler and this one is a proof copy of a middle grade that comes out in September. I'm really excited for it and also the entire Throne of Glass series but because of the new rules where for this month only I can just read the first book in the series rather than the entire series because honestly my heart dropped when I picked this out. So did we win? Did we lose? Am I reading Throne of Glass? We won! We actually won! And we are reading, well I'm reading, sorry, Fireborn by Aelin Fowler. So the actual full title of this is Fireborn 12 and the Frozen Forest. So this is set in the snowy northern forest of a prehistoric world. We follow 12 who is pledged to fight monsters. When a little girl is taken from the village, 12 ends up being the only person who wants to save this child. So she ends up going on this incredible journey to try and save this child. And I think this might be the start of a new series. I don't know, but it's like it looks really exciting. It's going to be a big launch, I think, in September for it. Yeah, I think this is going to be a really good one. I'm so glad we won one. <laughs> So round three, the book that I really wanted to read was The Last House on Needless Street by Catriona Ward. And then out of the bag, I pulled out a series of unfortunate events, books 11 through 13. But again, however, with the reward, I only had to read book 11, which is The Grim Grotto, because I've been reading a series of unfortunate events for the past two years and haven't finished it yet. Sorry, Cody. So did we win? Did we lose? Well, we lost again. So I'm reading book 11 of a series of unfortunate events, which I'm not, you know, gutted about, because if I can whack this out, I can still read this one. So you will know what this is about. I don't really need to explain it, I don't think, please. And then the last round was between The Lamplighters by Emma Stornex. This is the book that I really wanted to read. And I pulled out 112263 by Stephen King. A huge, huge, huge book. And we lost again. So we lost three rounds and won one and I am reading 11-22-63 in May. All I know about this one is that it follows somebody who tries to go back in time to stop the Kennedy assassination. I mean it sounds really interesting. I've heard great things about it. I do know this is Sharon's favourite book and she's one of my patrons. I am looking forward to reading it but kind of not. So I want to see if I can fit this in to do the thing a thon <laughs> or the vlog where I read books that I lost to. I'm going to have to try and sort it out. Okay that is all the housekeeping done. Now we can actually play 
Play your T V R right. Shuffle with a bad song. Oh yeah. Higher or lower, doesn't matter, cause I'll get it all wrong. Yep, that's me. Okay, first, oh wait, I'm shuffling the cards, I haven't even picked the books. Oh crap. Right, one of the first rounds I want to do, the book I really want to read is Lalani of the Distant Sea by Erin Entrada Kelly. I've had this for a little while now actually, I was gifted this on my last birthday. And this one follows Lalani who faces an impossible future, her mother's fallen ill and her stepfather and stepbrother are cruel and vindictive. Lalani wanted help but the rain comes down in torrents and it's her fault. So she does what only one girl on the island of San Laguita has ever done before, she slips into a small boat and sets out across the sea looking for a different future. It sounds amazing, it sounds incredible and this will fit in with the Asian readathon. So this is the book I really want to read. I'll pop it over here because I'll play on this shelf. Again, I love how I've been doing this for nearly a year and I still don't have a proper setup for it. <laughs> Let's pick from the bag. I feel like I should start the tension music now. You know what, I'm going to try it. Cue the tension music. Oh my gosh! This is actually... What? Okay, this is actually kind of perfect. Stop the tension music, stop. <laughs> it's a Shadow and Bone trilogy. The TV show just happened. I've only watched the first two episodes, but I'm really enjoying it so far. And I really wanted to read this last month, but it never came up. Okay, so with the reward, I don't actually have to read all three of the books in the Shadow and Bone trilogy. However, I really would love to. I would love to. Don't, sh don't shout at me. Gosh, please don't shout at me. So if I lose, I might save this for the, like, the last part of the month and read all three together and do a reading vlog for it because that's what I wanted to do last month. It just never came up, so I couldn't do it. I still want to win because that's a middle grade and I haven't read a really great middle grade in a little while because I didn't get really any in the last TBR game. So, I mean, as much as I'd love to read Shadow and Bone, if I read that, I'll still be able to read that. But that's not the aim of the game. The end of the game is the other way around. This is a, already going to be a weird first round. Even if I win and read Lalani the Distant Sea, I still feel tempted to just read Shadow and Bone as well. Could you imagine? In all three as well, I'm inflicting this pain on myself. Let's um sh play the game. Okay. First card is a seven shit. That is a really shit starting card. I do get one swap per game. I do get one swap per game, so I'm going to swap the card. Oh, and if I swap, this was a great comment in the last video too, if I swap it and it's the same number, I can swap again because the whole point of swapping the card is to change the number. So if I swap it for a seven, like what was the point? So that was a good suggestion from a great viewer last time, so thank you so much. Swap the seven for a nine. Not great, not great. Lower, I'm just gonna say lower. Eight, ooh! <laughs> <laughs> um, eight. Higher or lower than an eight. Higher or lower than an eight. Oh god. Higher or lower than an eight. Oh, I want to say lower again. I want to say lower again. I think. I want to say lower. Shit, it's the same. But when it's the same, I just shuffle, and it has to be lower than an eight still. I can't. This is going shit. <laughs> this is going a bit shit so far. Let's uh, shuffle, so it has to be lower than an eight. We are getting an eight again, what? <laughs> We're gonna have to shuffle again. We're gonna have to shuffle again, what the fuck? Oh my God, why are all of these high cards? I can't even change my higher or lower because I originally said lower. So it has to be lower. Come on, be lower. Don't be an eight again. Queen, shit, I've lost. <laughs> that was a really weird round though. That, how, how weird was that? First I get the Shadow and Bone trilogy, which I kind of really wanted to read last month. Why? Why did that happen? That's quite a few high cards that I've, um, that I'm taking out because I take the cards out when I've used them. Try, I'm going to try and remember that. Um, and then it was a three and then it was a ten. So that would, so I lost. So I am reading Shadow and Bone. I might try and aim for the trilogy, which I know I shouldn't do because, you know, the reward. I really want to read this for the Asian Readathon. This was a weird round. This is a weird way to start the game. I'm so sorry. Okay, round two. Three Ks by Kelly Yang. I absolutely adored Front Desk. It's one of my favourite middle grades of this year so far. And it follows a family, a Chinese family, who immigrates to America and they end up running a motel. This is the sequel to that. I don't know where it's going to go or anything. I'm really interested and excited about it. So, yes, I'm going to stick that one on there. Okay, next. Cue the tension music again, but hopefully it's a genuine, suspenseful boot pick. Come on, come on, we can do this. We can do this. Oh, 
Ugh, how boring. Once Upon a River. I think that's by Diane Setterfield. I think this is literary fiction again. It's about an ancient inn on the Thames and there is a dead girl that comes out of the River Thames, I think. It does sound really good, but I mean, it's chunky for one. It won't fit the Asian readathon and I'd rather read a middle grade. So let's shuffle cards again. Please be a good round, please. I really want to read a fantastic middle grade. You know what? I read a middle grade last month that I just threw onto my TBR, even though I shouldn't have because I had 24 books on my TBR. And by the way, I only have two books left on my April TBR and there's still four days left. And I did add an extra book on and that was Dragon Legend by Katie and Kevin Sang. And it was fantastic. It was better than the first book. So that was the last really good middle grade book I read, but it wasn't even part of my April TBR. So let us play this game. Drink of courage. Right. The first card is... An, uh, it's an ace, which means it's the highest and the lowest. So I can say anything I want. Um, I will say lower. Jack! Oh, I'm gonna say lower again. Lower than a jack. It is a five. Oh my God, it's a five. Um, ooh. Hmm. Mm. Five can be a little bit tricky, but there's more chance of it being higher. There is more chance of it being higher. Should I swap? Or should... No, I want to swap because I get one swap again per game. Oh, but what if I make it worse? What if it's like a seven? Oh, it shouldn't be an eight because I got rid of fucking all of them in the last round. Um, um, okay, I'm just going to switch it. Oh, please be a two or something. Please be a two. Shit! That's not what I wanted! Oh no! Oh no! No! Shit! Well, I was gonna say higher, wasn't I? I was gonna say higher anyway. Let's just go higher, see if it works. Oh fuck! I'm gonna say higher. Ten! Oh my god, okay, so that was a waste of a swap. Um. Oh my god, should I say higher or low again? I feel like so, most of the cards I took out were higher. So there's. Oh, but it could still be higher. I'm just gonna say lower. I'm just gonna say lower. I'm gonna say lower than a ten. I'm gonna say lower than a ten. Yes! Oh my god, yes, 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 I would. I would, I would, I would. So that means I'm reading Three Keys by Kelly Yang. Oh my gosh, yes! 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 It's perfect. Thank you. You can fuck off for another few months. Okay, the next round. This is Starfell 2 and 3 by Dominic Valenti. I've been meaning to round off this trilogy for such a long time now, and the books are short. Like, this is not a punishment. I could probably knock these out in like eight hours together, but there's like all of these are kind of illustrations inside and you know the writing's quite big and it just I can't wait I really adored the first book it was so cute and magical and whimsical and it follows a young girl uh, called Willow Moss and she is the last in a long line of witches and she has the power to find lost things so in the first book she had to find a lost day a whole day went missing and in the second book a tale goes missing and then in the third book a kingdom goes missing so I put the third book on the top there to represent the series sorry about the glare so Starfell you are up against you are up against Okay, okay. Oh, I need to show you what it is. Lullaby. And I can't remember who it's by. You know what? I think I've already unhauled it. Okay, let's pick again. Let's pick again. Let's get a better one. Let's get like huge stakes. Let's get a really let's get um, I don't know, Fire and Blood by George R. R. Martin. Which I really don't want to do. <laughs> I don't want to read that one. Oh my god. Okay, Midnight Crossroad by Charlene Harris. So this has been on my TBR since 2014. It's been like seven years it's been on my TBR for. And I actually met Charlene Harris in person. She signed my book for me and that is why I got it because she was there. And plus I really enjoyed the Suki Stackhouse Mysteries or at least some of the books. They did go a little bit too long. Anyway, this one is totally different. I believe there was a TV show made out of it too. But Midnight Texas is a town with many boarded up windows and few full-time inhabitants located at the crossing of Witchlight Road and Davy Road. What? What's the plot? If you stop at one traffic light in town, then everything looks normal. But if you stay a while, you might learn the truth. So there's something shady going on in this town. Okay, anyway, let's let's play this round. Let's hope for another win. Right. First card is a jack. Ooh, nice and high. Nice and high for a jack. So I'm going to say lower, lower than a jack. It is a king. Fuck, I've already lost. However, I'm going to use my life. I'm going to use my life. I really would love to read the two Starfell books. I really would. It just looks so cute and whimsical and, and fun. So I'm using my life and I'm gonna say it lower than a king and watch me lose. Watch me lose on this card. Wait, actually I can't. 
I can't because there isn't actually anything higher. Lower. Two. Oh my gosh, yay. Okay, higher. I'm going to say higher than a two. It is a three. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to say higher than a three. And it is a six. Oh my gosh. Okay, I won. I won, but it took a life. <laughs> I won, but it took a life. So that means I get to read Starfell 2 and 3. Which you're thinking, Gavin, you've just put two more books on your TBR. But honestly, these two would probably equate to Midnight Crossroad, just with, you know, the size of the illustrations, the size of the font, everything. So, you know what, I'm a winner. I don't want to jinx it, but this has definitely gone a lot better than last month. So the last round of this game, and the book I really want to read is Girl in the Walls by A.J. Noose. And this one is a gothic kind of thriller. It follows a girl who's lost her family. She's a very young girl, and she ends up going back to her childhood house to live in the walls. However, another family already lives there. So it sounds really good. It does, it sounds really good. And I want to read if I do the thingathon. I really want to read this one. Now, the last time I'm pulling from this bag in this video, so it would be great to end this round with something really, really intense, wouldn't it? Okay, this is the one, whatever it is. Ooh, okay. Okay, the girl on the train. Okay, so the girl on the train. This has been on my TBR for a very long time as well. I think I got this when the movie came out and I watched the movie. I quite like the movie. I love Emily Blunt. Oh, I absolutely love Luke Evans as well. Like, honestly, I wish she was my husband. But this one, I don't really know how to explain it without really spoilers, but I do know that Rachel, she gets the train every day and she witnesses a murder or something like that through a window. It's been ages since I watched the film. I think I saw it in the cinema, so I haven't watched that in years. Haven't heard the best things about this one as well as a, as a book. So it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see what I think about it, as well as if I read it in a Play Your TBR Write Books I've Lost blog. It would be interesting to see that as well, wouldn't it? But I would prefer to read Girl in the Walls. Editing Gav is extremely disappointed in the fact that filming Gav didn't even make a girl in the walls and girl on the train kind of joke or even kind of reference at all. I mean, it's girl on the train versus girl in the walls. What was I not thinking? Honestly, I hate filming Gav so much. So let's shuffle for the last, last time. Okay. First card is a five. Okay. Um, it's not ideal. It's not ideal at all. I do want to swap, but I don't really want to swap just yet, just in case. I'm gonna say higher. I'm gonna say higher. Oh, I gotta say that Oh, yes, you, it's a 10. It's a 10. <sighs> okay, it's a 10. It's a 10. Uh, I wanna say lower. I could swap, but it's not. I wanna say lower. I'm just gonna say lower. Oh, fuck. It's a queen. I should have swapped. I should have swapped. I don't have a life left. Remember in the April TBR game when I lost a life, but I still pretended I had a life and the last round just still bit me in the ass? I do remember that I don't have a life to use. So, <sighs> Girl on the Train it is by Paula Hawkins. And honestly, all of the thrillers that I really wanted to read for Two of the Thingathon, I haven't won a single one of them. Like, I was desperate to read The Lamplighters, I was desperate to read The Last House on Eagle Street, and I was desperate to read Girl on the Walls, and all of them I failed at. I'm not putting thrillers on my TBR game ever again. Ugh. Well, that was so anticlimactic. To be fair, my TBR isn't looking too bad. Should I play one more round? Should I play for these three books for Do the Thingathon versus whatever I pick out from the back? I don't know if I should, to be honest. Because <laughs> I still have 11, 22, 63 to read. Still seems manageable, though, should I do it? I really want to read these three, though. I really want to read them. And I know I can if I read those books first, and then I can get to these. But what's the point in that? Why don't I just play another round? Let's play another round. Let's put these three on the winning side. On the I know, like, everybody's probably screaming at me right now. I don't care. Right, let's really raise the stakes on this one. Let's raise the stake. Let's raise the roof. Oh, did someone just jump out? Let's... Come on, let's get a really good one. Let's get a great one. Let's get fucking high stakes, yeah. Come on. Oh, okay, this is good. This is good, okay. The Fall of Gondolin. This one is by J.R.R. Tolkien and edited by Christopher Tolkien. Genuinely don't really know what it's about. I just know that's part of like the Middle Earth, Lord of the Rings kind of series. But yeah, this is like dense fantasy and honestly it scares me. It scares the fuck out of me. I'm praying for my thrillers. I really am. I really just want my thrillers on my TBR officially. That's all I want. Please let me win this round. Please. Please let me win this round.
three. Oh, excellent. Nice and low. Nice and low. So I'm going to say hi there. Three. It is a joker. Oh my god, it's the highest and lowest card. Okay, I'm going to say it's the highest card. So lower than a joker. It is another joker. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is excellent. This is excellent. Okay, um, lower. <laughs> a two. Oh my god. This is, this is perfect. Higher, higher. Oh my god, that was the perfect round. I get to read all three of my thrillers. <laughs> Wait, it's a happy ending. It's a happy ending. I know you guys won't think it because I've literally just put three additional books on my TBR when I didn't even have to. But it's a happy ending for me, guys. <laughs> Still gotta read the girl on the fucking train though. In 11, 22, 63, Jesus. So this is my main TBR. And honestly, after the April TBR, it doesn't even look that bad to me. Filming Gav, where are these? Hmm? You missed out these. You got four more books to put on that pile, you stupid bit. It's still gonna come up to quite high page count, but you know what? There's a few middle grades on there too, so it's gonna be easy. It's gonna be easy. It's fine. It's fine. I'm inflicting this pain on myself at this point, so honestly, don't cry for me, Argentina. I'm gonna have a blast. I think I'm gonna have a blast. So anyway, yes, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you watched during the premiere, I love you guys. My hat's gonna fall off, and I will hopefully see you in the next video. Bye!